Okay, so Manchester Open 2019 is happening next weekend. And I thought I'd make my main and goals video for it now before I could forget. So I'm going to start with the events that I think are bad events and then slowly work my way up through the decent events and then end on the good events. So for 3 by 3 blindfolded, I will be using the Moyu MF3 Alice 3M. I only got this few the other day, but I think it's going to work really well for me for the blindfolded. And I'm, my goal is literally just to get a success. But I don't think that's going to happen if I've literally not been a free blind attempt since competing in Western Super Mario. Square one, I will be using the cheese square one. This is just a standard cheese square one with nothing done to it. And it works fine for me because I don't practice square one at all, if I'm being perfectly honest. My goal from the competition is to get a sub 35 single and a sub 40 average. For 6x6, I'll be using the X-Mon Shadow M. And my goal is to get a sub 3 single and a P I mean. For Scoob, I'm going to be using the Moyu Aoyang M with the concave tent caps. I find the concave tent caps work the best for me, and so I'll be using these in competition. And my goal is going to be for a sub 7 single and a sub 8 average. For 3x3 100, I will be using the Moyu Weiwong Imperium GTS 3M. This is still the cube that works best for me for 100, and so I'll be using it in competition. And my goal is so I'm to beat my PR average, which I got at Stratford upon Avon last year. So a sub 21.72 average of 5. For Pyraminx, I'm going to be using the Xmon Bell and Pyraminx. I think this is the Pyraminx that works best for me out of all the ones that I've tried, and so I'm going to be using this in the competition. And my goal is going to be sub 5 single and sub 7 average. For 4x4, I'm going to be using the Moyu Ao Su GTS 2M. And my goal for this is to get a sub 43 single and maybe a sub 40 average. I'm not close to a level I can get my PR anymore because I'm out of practice. For 5x5, I'm going to be using the Moyu Ao Tuan GTS M. And I'm also a bit out of practice with 5x5, but I think I could still do decently. Because my PR's average isn't too hard to beat, but I still don't know if I'm going to be able to beat it. But I'm not too bothered if I don't, because I don't really care about it much more anymore, but I still care about it more than a lot of events. So my goal is just going to be to beat, just to get a sub-135 average and another sub-130 single. So just do decent, but not PR's. For 7x7, seven seven, I'll be using the X-Mon Spark M. And this cube is literally just phenomenal. I've not even had it for that long and I've already got all my PBs on it and I've already got sub 450. My goal is going to be to get a sub 435 single and a sub 450 main. For Mega Minx, I'm going to be using the X-Mon Galaxy V2 LM. I've been using this cube since Christmas and I think it works incredible for me for Mega Minx. I'm going to be using this in the competition and my goal is to get a sub 105 single and a sub 112 average of 5. 3x3, three three, I'm going to use the Megan 356X, which was set up for me by Tom Dooley. And my goal for this is to get another sub 9, is to get a sub 9.5 single, and to finally beat my PR average and get a sub 11, and maybe sub 10.5 if I get decent scandals. And for the best of them, Clock, I'll be using this, my self magnetizing Ling Out M, and my goal is to get a sub 8 single and a sub 9 average of 5, which I think I'm, I know I'm capable of, it's just going to mainly depend on me not DNFing, which I normally don't, but I just feel like I might run the competition nerves. Okay, so hopefully I can just do decent though and get quite a lot of PR, because I've, it's been a while since my last competition and I'm definitely capable of it. So hopefully I can do, and hopefully if you are there, you'll do well too. Bye.